Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. All right, so I'm going to do an updated reading on Selena Gomez. I just did one on Justin and Haley, and people are inquiring about Selena. I'm going to do a reading on Selena, and people also are requesting a reading on Selena and Justin. You guys need to start to let that go. And for anybody that comes into my channel and thinks that it's me, that it's all crazy and worked up about Selena, Justin and Haley, it is not me. I'm not obsessed with them. It's my subscribers who are their fans that want to know. So read my lips. I don't care about any of these people. I do readings because people request them. So I'm going to do one, one on Selena and Justin. I know he's married to another woman. I know he's married to Haley. But my, my subscribers want to know about them. All right? Just so you know, it's not me that's obsessed. So I will do a reading on um, Selena Gomez. And then what I'll do is I will um, do a reading on the current energies between Selena and um, Justin. Okay? All right. So as far as Selena is concerned. I feel she's doing fine. I don't know if this is a bad time of the year for her or not, but I feel like her energy is a little bit lower, which, you know, a lot of people, the fall comes and the winter comes and there's that seasonal, it's called sad seasonal uh, affective disorder or something like that. So it makes people a little bit more depressed, a little bit down. I think she lives in California and the sun always shines there. I know that. So I think that's where she lives. If she doesn't, my mistake, I don't know where she lives, but I feel that right now she's kind of going through either a lonely time or just a time of solace. So I don't know if she's surrounding her friends, but I don't feel she's um, really upbeat and um, excited about life and that kind of a thing. So I really feel like she's maybe emotionally she's going through something right now. I just kind of feel like she's feeling a little bit down. Um, whether she's dating anybody or not, I don't know, but I don't, like, when I tune into her energy, I don't think she is. I feel like she's alone. I feel like she's surrounded around her friends and so forth. Now, I say I feel like a lot because that's what I feel. I'm a clairsentient, so I feel other people's emotions. When I think about Selena, I just really feel like right now is a phase in her life where she's just kind of withdrawing, going within, trying to find some clarity um, and just learn from her past mistakes and gain some experience and wisdom. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know if she's focusing on her work. I feel like that's kind of where her focus is. If she's not working, I think right now is just a downtime for her. Okay. Um, I don't feel like she's dating anybody. I don't, I sir, if she is dating somebody, I don't feel like it's anything serious. Okay. All right, so let's just see what the cards say for Selena. And I will use my, this is, it's a really beautiful deck. It's really nice. And for anybody out there that would like to get a private reading, if you want to purchase one, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. And I will um, uh, get back to you within 24 hours on how to purchase a reading from me. All right. Okay, so what are the current energies regarding Selena? What are the current energies regarding Selena? All right, what are the current energies regarding Selena? 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 
I'm waiting for one card to fall out. The way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out. All right, so what are the current energies regarding Selena? Now, here we have the Queen of Cups. There she is. She's a Cancer female. This represents Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So here she is. She is a nurturer. She helps. She heals. She supports. I looked up her birthday before. I believe she's right on the cusp of Cancer um, Leo. But I do believe she's the Cancer. All right, so these women are very nurturing and they're healing and they're supporting, you know, so I feel that she has a, a watery nature about her, okay? All right, so now I have the Nine of Pentacles. And this card, I asked about her current energies, fulfillment, comfort, prosperity, focus. It symbolizes satisfaction and prosperity. Financial worries are over, projects are completed, and your efforts bring material benefits, including finer things in life. You feel happy and at home with yourself and your past. Okay? So what did I say before I started the reading? I felt like she's withdrawn. I feel like she's kind of withdrawn. She's kind of like, I don't feel like she's out and about a lot. Okay? So this one, who this is somebody who's just really content and fulfilled being by themselves. Okay, so this is about luxury, self-sufficiency, which she is, and it is about solo pleasures, her going it alone, enjoying and being content by herself. All right, then we have the moon card, and the moon card represents um, illusions, it, it represents disappointment. I don't feel like she kind of sees her way forward yet. This is illusion the unconscious, it's mysteries, it's uncertainty, it's dreams and decisions. So she could be in a phase right now where she's really feeling like um, a lot going on in her head. There's a lot of daydreaming, a lot of illusions, a lot of dreams, a lot of uncertainty. And through the light of the moon, you do not see all the facts. Okay, so right now, I think it's a time of her just kind of a little bit of confusion, disappointment, disillusionment. Her emotions are running a little high. That's what, you know, that's the cancer woman. All right. Emotions are running high. Um, I'm not saying she's highly emotional, but right now is an emotional time in her life. And this is about sensing the need to make some sort of a decision, but she doesn't have all the facts and she feels a little bit vulnerable. Okay. Then we have the six of cups. So this is a, a card of nostalgia, looking back at the past, thinking about the good times. And that's how you kind of learn from things is by looking back and going, ah, oh, this is what I did wrong, or this is what I did right, and this is what I liked in my life, and these are the people I liked. So this is about just nostalgia. It's about friendship, looking, pa looking back, okay? Then we have the Five of Cups. And this is loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. I said in the beginning of the reading that I felt that she was feeling a little bit depressed. This is a depressing card, but not all is lost. All right, right now she's just kind of feeling a little bit down, okay? You know, just it's just, it's along with this card. You know, it's just trying to figure things out. And then we have the chariot. And the chariot, this is a cancer card. Okay, this represents the sign of cancer. And this is about action and change. It's a journey. It's a vehicle. So it's like there's going to be some action and change that's going to be she wants to make. She is behind the chariot. Okay, and she wants to move forward. So she's going to be the one making these changes. All right. Now let's see what the future messages for Selena are. Future messages regarding Selena Gomez. What are the future messages regarding Selena Gomez? What are the future messages regarding Selena Gomez? What are the future messages regarding Selena Gomez? I just, even with it, when it comes to a man, I don't think she's really found anyone that, um, that she really wants to kind of go forward with, right? Future messages regarding Selena Gomez. What are the future messages regarding Selena Gomez? 
future messages regarding Selena Gomez. 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 Okay, so future messages regarding Selena Gomez. We have here the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords represents a, is a logical, self-sufficient, truth-telling woman. Either she's going to have to start telling the truth about something or tell people what she wants. Okay? She's self-sufficient. She's logical. She needs to start to tell people what she wants. And I think she's going to start to do that because she feels like a little bit beat up here. The Nine of Wands is a test of courage, it's persistence, it's boundaries, it's being beat up and still pushing forward. All right, so she's still going to push forward, um, whether it's with her music or relationships or just in life general, she's going to push forward. There's the Star card. And this is about she's going to get a renewal, a renewal of hope, inner clarity. Miracles are going to start to come to her. Now, what she's going through right now will kick her into this area where she's going to feel a renewed sense of hope in her life, whether it's relationship, friendship, uh, uh, job, career, you know, there's going to be more abundance. There's the Empress. This talks about uh, the Empress is about uh, abundance, love, um, abundance and money. Uh, the sign of Venus represents money and love. And, you know, you can see here, there is the sign of Venus. I'm just going to go to my book to get a deeper meaning. So the Venus is um, creativity. She might be creating some stuff in the near future. Abundance, peace. Um, she's influential. She symbolizes care, security, abundance. So relationships flourish. The card can also predict a child. As she is traditionally paired with the Emperor, she represents stability and love. So she might be getting some sort of a stability and in love and new opportunities that are going to unfold. Because here is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about uh, marriage with children, uh, family, reunions, love, support. This is the end of the rainbow. This is what she's wanting. I think she's wanting to start to settle down and find somebody and have you know, kids, or even just find a relationship that is going to be fulfilling and loving. Okay. All right. Now on to Justin. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. I don't care about these two. The man is involved, is married with another woman. All right. But there are people out there that want to know how they, what, what they pick up, what I pick up between them. Okay. So don't call me obsessed. All right. So when I think about them, I really feel like they've let go and moved on. I feel there was a certain time in their life where they grew together, they understood each other, and they've grown apart now. He's gone one way, she's gone another. I don't ever see these two getting back together again. All right? They have a connection, yes, and it's a strong connection. Do they think about each other? Yes. Um, do they have fond memories of each other? Yes. But they're exes. They're not, I don't believe they're going to ever get back together again. I feel like Selena has outgrown him, which means matured, got more experience. And Justin is somewhat still kind of like stunted at a certain maturity level. And she's outgrown that. She's a grown woman. He's a grown man, but she's even more mature. So I feel Justin is just a little bit too hard on the head for her. All right. So... Do I feel like they're ever going to get back together again? No, I don't. Even if Justin and Haley um, end up failing in their marriage, I still don't feel like Selena is going to put herself in that situation again to be involved with Justin. They are, they're starting to be just really two different people. Yes, they're both entertainers and singers and whatever you want to call it, and child stars and all that stuff. But in the end, I feel she's really just outgrown him and outmatured him. Okay? All right. Let's see the energies between them. What are the energies between Selena 
and Justin. Like, I can't say, I don't want to say they don't talk because I really feel that they do connect once in a while. You know, even it's more like checking up on each other. Okay. But I don't feel like there's any more love interest there. All right. Selena and Justin. Selena and Justin. What are the messages regarding Selena and Justin? Like if they ran into each other at a party or at an event or something like that, it's not like she'd run away crying or he would, like, I feel like they'll be mature, okay? And they'll handle it and be kind to each other. All right, so what are the current messages or energies between them here? We have the temperance card. It's balanced. It's, there's self-control here. There's harmony. There's moderation, which means it's there. It's harmonious. There's not a lot of ill will. It's moderate. It's not like, you know, jumping in with both feet into a relationship. The relationship there is there and it's fine. Okay. Then we have the hermit. They're both contemplating. This is about that going within. The hermit is about going within for clarity. It's a quest for personal truth. It's like experiencing, learning and getting wiser from that relationship. And then we have the devil. So the devil talks about um, compulsion. This talks about being, being, you can see these two are attached to the devil. Okay. They're chained to the devil, but very lightly. They can easily, um, they can easily be unbound from this. But I feel like sometimes it's the public and the people that chain them back together again. All right. They will always have this picture of them, um, whether they're together or not, because the history, I feel that they will be forever somehow attached to each other unwillingly or willingly. But I mean, the people, the people, I mean, the man is married to another woman and people still want to know about Selena and Justin. OK, so people don't want to let this go. All right, and let's just see what the future messages are regarding Selena and Justin. What are the future messages regarding Selena and Justin? What are the future messages regarding Selena and Justin? Future messages regarding Selena and Justin. What are the future messages regarding Selena and Justin? And I heard that song that he just, um, it's called Lonely. I think it's called Lonely. And you hear the man sing. And it makes me want to cry. The emotions attached to that song are so deep and powerful and so raw. I feel bad for him. You know, everyone sees every mistake he has ever made and his illnesses. It's like that song is so telling of how he feels. And there is not one lie in there. It is, I believe it is all coming from his heart. And that's you fans putting certain expectations on him. Let him be. Let him be, you know. So future messages there. Here's the King of Swords. So this is usually it's someone who's quick acting. Um, they're a leader. The, I'm going to see what the energies regarding the swing, the, the king of swords are. Um, this is about decisions, order, justice. This card stands for mind power, decisions and justice. It's like they both realized that this is not going to happen. All right. They're going on with their own lives. Okay. So this is about that. Um, uh, standing for mind power decisions and justice. Okay. Then we have the death card. So this has, has transitioned. So this is about big changes, endings, it's rebirth, letting go and moving on, letting go, moving on, changing. It's like relation, like it's like a transition. They it, it went from boyfriend and girlfriend to friends, probably strangers now. All right, so there's that transition there. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So here we have 
uh, the Prince Charming, It's Romantic Love. This is him. This keeps coming up in her readings all the time. I believe it's either King or the, the, the Knight of Cups keeps coming up. There might be an offer in the future from him. Who knows what the offer is going to be? It could be, let's meet up for lunch. Let's meet up for coffee. Something like that. I don't think this is going to be a proposal for marriage or anything, but I feel they do keep in touch and they could meet up once in a while to get together for something. So he might have that offer to meet, but I don't, it's not going to be anything hot and heavy. I can tell you that right now. Doesn't say doesn't mean she's going to accept either. Okay, all right. There you go. That is the reading on Selena Gomez and including Justin Bieber. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, the only reason why I was being a little bit um, uh, cranky is because because I get people that stop by and actually think that I'm the one that's obsessed. So I want everyone to know that I'm not obsessed. I could care less whether these, these two ever get back together or not. I do these readings for you guys because you guys request it. You guys love them. You're fans. And I like to um, fulfill these requests. All right. So again, if you'd like to get a private reading from me, I'm clairsentient, clairvoyant. I do energy readings, tarot spreads. And... Uh, Email me and I will send you information on how to get a private reading. All right. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. I truly appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye.